Hi everyone, it's Dari Ari and I'm here for your weekend animal guidance. So here we have four piles. We have pile number one, number two, number three, and number four. Go ahead and take your time right now and pause this video and connect to your higher self and guides and welcoming your animal guides and ask them which pile um, can reveal any messages that you need from them at this time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin with pile number one. All right, if you chose pile number one, you chose lizard spirit. So lizard spirit has uh, a lot of uh, subtle energies. Uh, this energy in particular helps you connect to your dreams and any type of psychic perceptions that you may receive uh, from them as well as waking life. Uh, and then another thing about this is that um, it'll help guide you from, you know, one dream state to the next as well as from resolving any problems that might uh, be, you know, shown to you from the subconscious mind and, and it kind of, you know, mirrors what is happening in your conscious life right now. So don't be afraid to detach from these issues and separate uh, what you need to separate from, okay? So moving on, you have the Eight of Earth. So this is the reason why they want you to work with uh, Lizard Spirit is because when we separate from our issues, when we really see the bigger picture, we start to really tap into our talents and what we are more passionate about, what direction we want to take in our lives. Do we want to go back to school? Do we want to go back uh, and study uh, a a subject and become a subject matter expert or do you want to take a different approach to how we make money how we um, you know create the life that we desire okay so with the aid of earth uh, in conjunction to uh, lizard spirit you are going to be propelled into making that choice and and really focusing on what you want to create in your life okay and what direction you want to go Moving on, we have the new moon in Gemini. So the new moon in Gemini is all about communicating uh, what your desires are. And so if you are dreaming about a life that is way different from the current one that you are living, then this is kind of like your spirit is communicating to you, your soul is communicating to you and telling you, hey, you know, this is possible. It is possible for you to move on uh, into something better. It is possible for you to really uh, go for your goals and accomplish your dreams. So this is what um, the energy of Lizard will assist you with as well. If you're having, if you're having any doubts about how to transition from your current uh, life to a new one, then, you know, seek out some advice, seek up uh, some advice from like a mentor or somebody who is a subject matter ac expert in the field that you're trying to transition into. Moving on, we have the 10 of water. So this is the ultimate goal that Lizard will help you accomplish is to really finding, uh, a, I would say, a grounding, <laughs> career that'll help you build off a solid foundation into a future that you desire, which might lead you to connecting to your soulmate and creating a life together. Uh, I feel like there's definitely going to be a connection of the soul as well as the heart here, kindred spirits coming together to create um, new life as well as to really uh, grow together. Okay, so that's what Lizard will provide you for for um, this weekend's energy to really sit with yourself and ask, you know, is there a better life for me? Uh, what direction should I take next in order for me to really uh, realize the fullest potential that I have uh, to creating uh, the life that I desire, okay? So, and the way that you can work with lizard spirits, just calling them in, calling them in just like a, like a prayer or even meditation where you sit with the lizard energy around you and, or even um, just talking to the lizard spirit in your head, in your head, or even out loud, whatever it takes. As long as you connect to lizard spirit this weekend, then everything will be definitely 
uh, laid out for you for the path that you want to take uh, for your future, okay? So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right, so if you chose pile number two, you chose swan as your animal guide for this weekend. So with swan spirit, um, you could call it in in any way. Uh, you could call it in as a prayer, like swan spirit, please come to me and assist me uh, with my energies uh, this weekend. Assist me with uh, revealing any messages that you have from the higher realms, you know, whatever it is that you want to say, swan spirit will come in, okay, and just trust that swan spirit is around you. Um, you can do that that way, or you could just talk to swan spirit in your mind or even out loud whatever it takes for you to connect to swan spirit just trust it so swan spirit brings us magical uh information magical wonders uh from the magical realms or from the spirit realms that are opening up uh to you at this time uh, so trust in the guidance that you're receiving from strong spirit from the uh, spirit realms uh, trust your heart uh, trust your true self and your creativity as well uh, because new opportunities are coming and they're tied to swan spirit so you have to allow yourself to bring in these new energies and and even to connect with your heart to anything that needs to be uh, dealt with in order for you to allow this new um, energy to come in, okay? So moving on, we have the Seven of Air. So the Seven of Air is what is uh, getting in the way of, of you allowing yourself to bring in new uh, and improved energies into your life. So this is kind of like um, any type of plans that you might have um, regarding your future, regarding a relationship, uh, the trajectory of, of these things need to be really looked at, really evaluated, and and kind of like make sure that you're covering all your bases here, okay? Um, there is a lot happening in the background when it comes to to situations that are not turning out the way that you want them to turn out. There, there are a lot of more people involved in these things and, and a lot of uh, I would say divine will, so to speak, that come from these people that is involved in, in these situations. So it is important for you to um, take your time and really revise and and really look at, um, I would say, how to maneuver your way out of the situation or improve it, okay? And this could be something like... Um, asking questions, communicating your thoughts, your your wants and your needs, as well as uh, kind of reiterating your goals here, okay? What is it that you want to create uh, with this energy, with these people? You know, if it's a partnership for, you know, a, I don't know, a business partnership, then you need to communicate your goals and your motives, okay? If it's a friendship or a relationship, a romantic relationship, you know, you need to communicate what your your true desires are uh, for the trajectory of the future of this relationship, okay? Whatever that is, it needs to be communicated and then from there, uh, collaborate with these people, okay? Um, it is important for you to do that because if you continue on ahead uh, without you know, really expressing yourself and, and thinking, oh, you know, this is all loss, this is all a failure, then that's when you go back into that cycle of self-pity or or maybe, um, oh, I failed again, you know, like being harsh on yourself as well. So Swan Spirit, that's why she is, uh, she is uh, telling you to connect with your heart space and to really heal that uh, aspect of you and really have patience uh, with yourself as well as with the people around you. I don't feel like there is any negative motives behind this. It's just that the divine timing isn't right at this time for you to uh, move forward with whatever it is that you want to move forward with um, with these current people in your life. Okay, so moving on, we have... Um, the waning moon. So the waning moon is a period in time where um, the moon is uh, moving from, 
you know, uh, the full moon and, and going into, you know, into a new moon cycle. So the waning period is the, the period of the crone, okay, or the wise woman or the goddess Hecate. Uh, and so this is kind of like about releasing things that no longer serve you, releasing any type of patterning of personality that no longer serves you again. And, I feel like if you are having trouble with a situation that has or is involving other people, uh, it, it feels like you're just, to me, it feels like you're doing way too much as well as you're overdoing things, you know, where you are not patient with others or you don't really see um, their side of the story yet or they haven't communicated to you yet as to why there is a delay or hesitation on their behalf okay so the waiting moon will assist you with this as well as swan spirit will assist you with healing this aspect of yourself and really um you know releasing it for for the betterment of your future uh relationships with other people okay so moving on we have the Knight of Water. So we are moving into the ultimate goal that you want, and it's the Knight of Water, uh, which is a very uh, connected romantic relationship or or even a connection between kindred spirits if it's a friendship, if it's a business venture. So this is kind of like making sure that everything that you have to release is released, any type of blockage when it comes to having uh, a full loving relationship with, with people in your life needs to be healed and released, okay? So that you finally move into this energy and you allow uh, people who are truly going to be loving and, and compassionate and caring and understanding into your life, okay? And again, Swan Spirit can assist you with this, assist you with mending the heart, assist you with uh, fortifying yourself, empowering yourself so that you can move forward into your happily ever after here, okay? So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. All right, so if you chose pile number three, you chose whale spirit. So the way that you can connect with whale spirit is through meditation, through welcoming in uh, whale spirit into your uh, secret circle, or even talking to whale spirit if you don't like to meditate. So it, it'll, it'll be just like something real quick saying, whale spirit, please accompany me throughout my day and please uh, show me or reveal to me any information that I need to know uh, from your medicine and from the highest realms, whatever that looks like to you, just welcome in the will spirit. Okay. So will spirit is all about, uh, just inspiration or inspiring you to do something, uh, with your life, uh, to move in a different direction. If you are stagnant. Okay. Uh, it is all about, you know, allowing the blessings of the spirit to come in. Uh, creative inspiration, uh, you know, allowing it to flow into you, uh, as well as, uh, you know, taking action upon it or creating something from it. And so creativity as, as an energy of allowing yourself to make art with it, to, to do healing work with it, to inspire others with it. So it could be something from, you know, painting, drawing to music. Okay. So whatever that looks like, it is time for you to dive deep into it and to allow yourself to flow in your creative, uh, energy. Okay. So moving on, we have the four of water. So this is pretty much the energy that is kind of like stopping you or preventing you from, um, being creative or from being inspired. And so to, in, in so many ways, uh, you might think that you have, um, you have missed out on something. Uh, maybe there was an opportunity for you to collaborate with someone or or pro possibly to get a new job or, or move to a different location. Whatever it is, it just didn't pan out, okay? And this is divine will here, okay? So everything is as it should be. Don't think that you missed out on anything. It was just not for you. Uh, I feel like... You might be harsh on yourself right now, beating yourself up, thinking, oh my God, I should have moved on that quicker, da 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 and all this stuff. Yes, you should have uh, done something to secure it if you truly desired it, but you intuitively, in so many ways, 
didn't do it because you knew something better was coming. Okay, in, deep down inside you knew, okay, I'm hesitating for a reason. I, I don't feel like this is 100% for me for a reason, okay? And so that four of water is telling you don't cry over you know, the missed opportunity because there's more to come, all right? There's better uh, opportunities to come that are more in align with what you want to uh, create here in this life, okay? So moving on, we have the Void of Course Moon. So the Void of Course Moon is when a uh, lunar energy moves from one sign to the next. So right now, you know, when I would say, I, for example, when Capricorn new moon uh, moved into Aquarius, uh, be that period of time in between, that's called the void of course, okay? And usually uh, around that period of time, a lot of people believe that it is important for you not to do anything uh, drastic, not to make any choices because they're not going to uh, play out the way that you desire. So there is a uh, a higher percent chance of failure if you if you do anything like that during a void of course moon uh, that's what a lot of people believe but what this card represents for you especially is that nothing is going to come from you crying over uh, what could have been okay uh, it is time for you to to reflect and and really um, I would say create a new um, idea as to what you really want to bring in um, and what you want to create for your life. Who do you want to really collaborate with and, and not settle, okay? Not settle for whatever is is coming because you're just so uh, wanting to make a change in your life, okay? So moving on, we have the Ten of Air. So the Tens usually uh, indicate a time of uh, endings, you know, ending of a cycle, moving into a new one. So this one is kind of like making sure that you understand that what's going on here uh, with your emotions in this difficult situation is gonna, it's it's ending because you've learned from it. You've taken in the wisdom that you had to take in. You've uh, covered all your bases once more and you created a better future for yourself by, again, releasing this opportunity that you thought you had so that you can move forward into a better life, okay? for yourself all right so again nothing is lost just allow yourself to connect to your will spirit and and allow yourself to move forward with your life in that way okay so that's all i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye bye all right you guys if you picked pile number four you got otter spirit so to connect with other otter, otter spirit you can just uh go into meditative state and you know, welcome in Otter Spirit, uh, ask Otter Spirit to assist you with whatever you need assistance with. Or if you don't want to meditate, then you could just ask a quick prayer of Otter Spirit to just come in and give you any guidance throughout the day, any information that you need from the higher realms or from its medicine. Okay, so Otter Spirit brings us the medicine of, of skills, of useful skills to be exact, uh, and also to recognize your own skills here, okay? Uh, what you are good at, okay? Using your creativity and your skills in a different way, in a new way to benefit you and to really, um, you know, I would say ignite your passions within, uh, making sure that you work and have fun at the same time. So it's all about balance here with Otter Spirit too. Yeah, they're hard workers, but they also love to frolic. They love to have fun, okay? Um, so that being said, use Otter Spirit with, with whatever it is that you need them at this time, okay? So moving on, we have the Three of Water. So the Three of Water is all about celebrating. It's all about a new... Um, I would say a new project coming uh, to its uh, fullest potential, as well as a collaboration finally uh, seeing success, okay? Um, we are also feeling uh, very enthusiastic with the Three of Water energy. Uh, new announcements, uh, you know, it's kind of like, it could also be uh, something that you were working on for a very long time and you're finally able to share it. Uh, it could also be like, you know, you've probably been in school for such a long time and you finally got your degree, things like that. So something to celebrate, okay? That's what uh, this energy is all about. So congratulations if you do have something to celebrate. <laughs> Um, then we have the super moon. So emotions are running high. I feel like the emotional aspect of this is a positive one. It's kind of like a, your dreams coming true. 
type of emotions, uh, joy, enthusiasm, optimism for the future, things like that. I also feel like this is like a very creative energy to work with if you are really feeling like you want to make a difference or you have made a difference in your life. Uh, and and me, meaning that you're taking the proper steps to finally, um, you know, accomplish your goals as well as uh, seeking out, you know, true happiness and joy and love, okay? So that's what this card would definitely reveal to you then we have the four of fire so the four of fire is kind of like uh where you're going to end up in uh being happy with where you are at uh being appreciative as well as uh in a state of gratitude for everything that you've done everything that you've gone through and and now you know released and heal and now that you are in this state of gratitude you can definitely um you know be appreciative to creator, to your family, to whomever supported you along the way for all of the hard work and all of the, uh, you know, never ending love that they showered you with. Okay. So this is what this is all about. This is pretty much you finally, um, accomplishing something that is completely, um, in alignment with your goals and dreams here okay so congratulations on that so again if you haven't done this yet or you're not in this uh energy you chose this deck uh or this pile for a reason that means that you're heading there and you'll see this pretty soon so again remember otter spirit will help you accomplish this goal will help you really um move forward with your life with your uh using your creativity as well as your your talents to end up here. Okay. So that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.